Welcome back Data Detectives. In the part 1 of our HR Analytics dashboard series, we delve into the world of SQL queries to gather the necessary data. Today, in part 2, we are going to take that data and bring it to life through powerful visualizations using Power BI. I am your host and this is Data Detectives channel. Let's dive right in. Here, we are in Power BI, ready to import our HR Analytics data and start creating insightful charts and graphs. But before we jump into that, let's quickly recap what we did in part 1. We wrote SQL queries to extract relevant data from our HR database, including employee information, performance metrics, and more. If you missed part 1, please make sure to check it out on our channel. So, let's get started by importing our data into Power BI. To start with, first of all, we will import our data. Uh, which is CSV files that we have created during the implementation of SQL queries. So we will click on text slash CSV to get our data. So we will locate the folder where we have stored our uh, SQL queries and first of all we will click on the gender bifurcation. Okay. The gender.csv file is being uploaded to Power BI. Okay, here we can see that the gender and count is available male, female, and non confirming. And then we have count of each of the categories. We will load the data to Power BI. So our gender uh, file has been loaded in uh, Power BI. So let's uh, create our first visualization chart. Let's select gender and let's select the count of each gender okay so we can see that the default visualization that has been created by power bi is that is in table format so let's change it uh, to stacked column chart okay so on changing it to stack column chart and let's zoom it a bit so it will be clear Let's shift it a little bit down. Here we can see that we have been represented with a male category, female category and the non-confirming category. So we will change some parameters in our visualization. So let's first of all change the data labels. Let's uh, at present the table, data labels are off if we create to change it to on. So here we can see that we are able to see the data labels uh, which is 9.3k, 8.5k and 0.5k. Okay. Then changing to uh, journal, we can change the title also as this is the gender distribution. We will name this chart as a gender distribution. Okay. So change it to gender. distribution okay so from this we can see that this is the gender distribution of employees in our HR database okay so now let's import another table from our uh, created H, uh, SQL queries which are in CSV format so Now select the table which is HQ versus remote distribution which means how many employees are in headquarters versus how many employees are in remote locations. Okay, We will load this table. The table has been loaded into Power BI. Now let's create a visualization for this. So let's select the location as well as the count. Okay. So if we want to change its visualization, we can give a format of a pie chart for this distribution as there are only two categories. So it will be more visible in a format of pie chart. Okay. So we have to tweak some changes 
in this pie chart so let's move it to visualization and let's turn off the legends so the pie chart will be more visible and in the detail label section if we change the uh, label contents let's see what are the label contents we have category data value percent of totals category and data value and if we select all detail labels so it will show all the detail labels like if this is the remote section and this is the headquarters section and we have 5k employees in remote and 14k employees in the headquarters which is approximately 75 percent and remotes are 25 percent okay and now here also we can change the title so it will be constant throughout our dashboard so let's change it to hq versus remote distribution okay and let's align it into the center okay so the main target to create a visualization is to understand all the tables and the parameters and analytics that we have done in a simpler format and to present it to other stakeholders so that they can also uh, easily understand the insights from the complete database which has been represented into our dashboard okay so keeping these things in mind we have to create our dashboard now let's select the another csv file and now let's see what is the age distribution or we can say what is our age breakdown among the employees so we will select the age breakdown okay let's load it so the age breakdown table has been loaded now let's select the age group as well as the counts of for each and every age group okay so this is also shown in a table now let's make it in a form of step column chart okay step column chart is one of the simplest charts that can be easily understood so it's it's very common to represent these visualizations uh, category categorical visualizations in a form of column chart okay so from this here we can see that if we zoom a little bit and let's minimize the filters so from here we can see that uh, 25 to 34 age group 45 to 54 age group and 35 to 44 age group has the uh, has approximately equal number of employees uh, which is approximately 5000 and then we have 2000 approximately employees in uh, age group of 18 to 24 and we have 12 to 1300 employees in 55 to 64 uh, age group okay if we want to change or format some changes uh, let's give them data label so our values will be more clearly visible then we can change the title and make it age wise distribution okay and let's align it in the, to the center so our title has been aligned to center okay so this was the age wise distribution now now let's import another csv file which will give us the bifurcation or the comparison between the uh, department versus gender distribution so this is our table for the same okay there here we can see that we have a department column we have a gender column and then we have the count column okay so let's load it the table has been uploaded to power bi now let's select the gen uh, now first of all Let's select the department column, then gender column, and then count column. Okay. Now uh, let's make it a clustered bar chart, or we can make a clustered column chart also. 
so let's make a clustered column chart so here we can see that we have created a clustered column chart uh, which is giving the department wise uh, distribution of employees and the distribution is further bifurcated into the male employees female employees and the non-conforming employees okay so here also let's change the title here we can change the title and let's represent them into department versus gender distribution okay and now align it in the center okay next csv file or visualization that we are going to make is the race wise distribution of the employees so let's select the race breakdown the this is our race breakdown csv file where the employees have been bifurcated according to their races so let's load it okay now we are going to use the race breakdown let's first select the race and then select the count so let's represent this again using the stacked column chart and here we are we have represented the race distribution of employees let's change some formats of this visualization let's first of all include the data columns and change the title okay so this is our race distribution okay and now move it in a center alignment okay now as we have seen we have represented five types of visuals in a single page let's move into the next page and now import some other files so now let's see the state wise distribution of employees okay so how we are going to see the state wise distribution let's import the location.csv file okay let's import the location state so this is our location state table and let's import it now let's select the location state and click on the location state okay and then click on the count so we can see that the power bi has automatically plotted the locations of employees on a map okay so let's zoom it a bit so the same can be much more clear and this is the zoomed chart and here we can see that these are the states of us and let's change some map settings the present style is a road style however we can make the uh, visualization more clear let's select grayscale so grayscale is much more clear and also we can increase the size of the bubbles as these are the relative sizes so let's increase the size of the bubbles let's reduce a bit so that they are not touching to each other okay these are the size of the bubbles also we can change the color of these bubbles so that it will be contrast to our chart okay so these are the states uh, in for the employees we can also give the category labels so as to make it more clear here we can see these are the maximum number of employees are in ohio then in pennsylvania and so on okay now the next chart will be the department wise distribution okay so let's import another csv file that will give us the department wise distribution 
so now we have imported the department uh, table so this is uh, these are the departments and these are the number of employees in each department for creating the visual visual for this uh, table let's select the tree map okay so on selecting the tree map here we can see that the engineering has the highest has the largest area so it means that it has the highest number of employees okay the same visualization can be depicted in other formats also other charts also that is stack column chart or we can show in the bar chart uh, if we add the legend then it will give a legend so uh, legends is not required let's add on the data labels okay if we want more details about the chart we can add the job title also so let's see okay here we can see that uh, it's very minute that is not required so let's remove the job title and now let's change the title for this chart so this is department wise distribution department wise distribution of employees okay so this is the department wise distribution of employees and let's center align it okay now next let's move to the next page okay now we are going to see what is the overall change percentage by year in the terminations and the hire rate we have already created a sql query for the same and let's import it this is the year wise termination so let it import okay here we can see that we have the year we have the hires we have the terminations then we have the net change and then we have a change percentage okay let's load the data into the power bi the table has been loaded now first of all let's select the hires and years okay so we will see the change in the hires year wise okay as present the years is on the y axis let's move in on x axis okay and let's create a line chart for the same let's shift here and from this chart let's zoom it a bit and from this chart we can see that the number of hires in 2000 was 2220 then suddenly it has a great rise in 2001 uh, which leads up to 1122 then it's approximately 1000 employees every year okay approximately 1000 employees every year and now if in this chart we want to include the terminations we can also include the terminations however these are presented on the same x-axis so let's shift the terminations on a secondary y-axis okay so now the terminations uh, so, so now the terminations are presented on the secondary y axis and the uh, hires is on the main y axis okay here we can see that the terminations rise in 2001 which is 203 employees have been terminated then the number of terminations has increased every year okay so if we want to see what is the terminations in 2020 we can see that the number of terminations versus number of hires is so terminations was 20 and the highest was 1012 okay now let's change the chart and if we want to see the net change okay so let's create a net change uh, let's select the change percentage okay so if we select the change percentage and let's shift the year to x-axis and create a line chart so as we have also seen from terminations and hires we can see that the change percentage is increasing uh, as we progress every year it means that the change percentage was 81 percent in 2001 then there is an increase in the chain percentage it means uh, either the hires is increasing or the terminations is decreasing 
as the change percentage is highest minus terminations upon highest okay so it means highest is increasing but here we can see that the highest is approximately constant to 1000 employees it means the terminations is decreasing every year so uh, this can be seen from this chart also that the terminations is increase, uh, decreasing year by year that's why there is a uh, increase in the uh, line chart of the change percentage okay every year so here also we can format the chart let's format the chart and give it a title so this is change percent of employees by year okay and let's align it in the center okay and let's zoom this chart also and here let's change the title for this chart also so here it will be hires and terminations let's give it year wise hires and terminations here wise hires and terminations okay so this is year wise hires and terminations if we select a, a single year then both the charts will be changed okay so if we selected this year then we will be only seeing 2012 which is 90% okay but if we don't select any single year we will be seeing the complete trend for all the years okay up till now we have seen the general analysis of our hr database it means we have seen what is the gender distribution what is the hq versus remote distribution what is the age wide distribution what is race distribution how is the state distribution of employees and so on we have to see what is the change in the termination rates of the employees by different other factors or what it means by different other categories that is how the termination rate is changing uh, on gender basis on we have to see how the termination rate is changing on age basis and how it's changing on department basis and so on okay we have seen the year wise basis uh, like from this chart we have seen that year by year the termination rate is decreasing uh, as it is the actual number but termination rate will be approximately same okay uh, so how we are going to see is that first of all we will create some sql queries we will create a journal query to calculate the termination rate and we will uh, make a table for each and every factor like we will create a termination rate table based on gender then we will create a termination rate table based on age and so on so for this purpose we will switch over to sql and we will make some queries so now we have shifted to my sql workbench we can see that we have created these sql uh, queries in the part one of this video series on hq uh, on hr analytics dashboard however now we have to see what other factors are affecting the termination rate uh, like uh, what is the gender wise breakdown of termination rate and higher rate okay so for this purpose we have created a query uh, which is select gender okay we have selected the gender then we have selected the total hires then we have selected the total terminations and we have calculated the total terminations by total hires as the termination rate okay uh, and now we have created a sub query which will be selecting the gender we are counting uh, all the hires and we are counting the terminated employees where the term date is not null as we have already seen that for all the terminated employees there is a termination date therefore we are using a case statement that termination term date is not null and uh, those terminated employees whose termination date is less than the current date okay so we are counting those employees only and this is we are grouping by gender and the whole query is also grouped by gender okay so let's run this query okay so let's run this query
so here we can see that the male employees female employees and the non conforming employees okay the total hires that we have available is 11288 out of which uh, 1187 are terminated employees and the, what is the termination rate termination rate is 10.52% okay similarly for female and similarly for non conforming which is 9.92% okay so we have used this general query to get other distribution tables also like for uh, age wise distribution of terminations we have used uh, used the same query and we have replaced the gender with age uh, similarly for department also similarly for race and similarly for year we have seen the year wise distribution already uh, okay then we have exported all the tables and saved it now we are going to see these termination trends uh, on a power pa okay so for this purpose we are going to import our files that we have exported from sql i have saved these file on termination reasons and let's first see the gender wise termination okay so let's import the table so we have imported our table let's load it to the power bi so we have the gender termination table with us so let's create a chart for this we have selected the gender and let's select the termination rate okay and we will present in a stacked column chart and let's give them data labels also okay uh, from this chart we can see that the termination rate by gender is 10 approximately 10% for all the uh, uh, employees either they are females males or non conforming okay so there is no uh, effect of gender on the termination rate okay we can conclude from this chart let's import another file and we will see the age wise termination okay as we have calculated the age in the hr database so by using the same column or category we are going to see what is the termination rate by age okay so the file has been imported let's load it to power bi so we are now going to see the age wise termination let's select the age okay and let's select the termination rate let's shift the age on x axis and let's move the table right here and let's see on a line chart so we have seen we are able to see the line chart and here we can see that the highest termination rate uh, which is 13.56% is at the age of 20 and one of the lowest terminations are in the age of 54 and 57 okay so we can conclude uh, that the highest terminations are done at the age of 20 years okay now let's select another data file and let's see the termination rate see the termination rate by department okay okay let's import this table so let's use the department category and the termination rate let's make a stack column chart for this and let's move it here so from here we can see that the highest terminations are in auditing department and the lowest terminations are in marketing department so uh, which is 8.91% and in the auditing department it is 15% so we have to find out the factors by talking to the senior management or by discussing with the senior management uh, why there is higher terminations in the auditing department these are some conclusions that we have made using the termination rate now let's import the year wise terminations we have already seen that there is a decreasing trend in our terminations but let's again create the chart 
so we are going to see the year wise termination rate let's select the year and let's select the termination rate okay and for this purpose we can create a line chart for the same So from here also we can see that the terminations are decreasing year on year basis and the lowest terminations are in 2020 and the highest terminations are in 2001 okay now let's see our last chart which will be the termination rate by race okay so let's select the race wise termination let's load the data so now we are going to see the termination rate by race we have imported our race underscore termination file and now let's select the race and the termination rate okay so let's move this table to this location and let's increase the size now uh, let's create its stacked column chart so as to visualize the termination rate by race so here we can see that uh, let's add the label first so that the values will be more clearly visible to us so here we can see that mostly all the termination rates in all the races are approximately 10.5% uh, okay but for native Hawaiian and other pacific icelander so it will be approximately 12 percent okay so we have completed our analytics part of of hr database now we are going to add a heading to our dashboard so that it will be more clearly visible and more presentable okay so how we are going to do this let's reduce the size here a little bit and let's align this chart with this and also reduce the size here now shift the, this chart to a location uh, let's move a little down let's this is perfect similarly let's move this chart also and let's move this chart also okay we can zoom this chart a little bit okay now the chart has been aligned and now let's add a heading so from here we will add a text box so we will write hr analytics dash board okay and we will select our text and we will first of all increase its size let's make it 36 let's increase the size to 36 okay it's more clearly visible uh, okay now bold it and let's change the font color to the most suitable font let's change to this okay this is our dashboard heading and we will center align it and let's shift this to okay let's shift this to top so let's align this in center so this is perfect and let's shift this also higher okay so this is our HR analytics dashboard we have completed all the channel analytics as well as the termination rate, uh, termination rate analytics 
uh, after that uh, from these uh, this dashboard we will write our insights and findings the findings from our side is available in the file linked in the description below so this is the complete hr analytics projects and thank you